I'm Heather Wilson, and this is my husband. I'm David Wilson. And we are the husband and wife team for Software Freedom School. Linux Camp is a non-traditional IT training. We try to come out from the uh, sometimes dry, very technical, very boring city environments and bring our students out into nature and address the entire student. Rather than giving the students a prescriptive do this and then do this and then do this type of lab experience, we give them a real world scenario. And then one proposed solution is demonstrated in front of the students, but the solution that they actually choose to implement is entirely up to them. They have their own machines, and their own network that they're managing. And so they choose a solution that they feel is going to be well suited to that environment. That results in a much more creative, theoretical thinking and stronger technician. Our objective is not just to help the technician to know about a particular technology, but to help that technician to design solutions. What I really enjoyed about Lennox Camp is that it acts as a uh, way of helping me remember a lot better and helping the material actually stick, which has been the, the main challenge for me. There are about 16 exercises from beginning to end, and we culminate in a capstone lab which is students taking a broken server, recovering the data from it, and then re-hosting that data onto a new good server. I was completely engaged. This class filled in a lot of the gaps for me and brought me more up to speed and ready to take the LPIC exams. David is a really great teacher. He has walked us through all of the labs we're going to do. He gives us a good, clean instruction set and gives us real-world examples of what we're going to be doing. I was raised in a Linux household. Linux is really the only um, opportunity system I've ever used. Up here at Linux Camp, I have learned a lot of new uh, uh, techniques and a lot of new things in Linux, and I am excited to bring those back home and try them out at work. What I love about Linux Camp is you're out here in nature. You're away from everything. You're you're solely focused on, on the Linux training. I don't think you could replicate this um, in any other format. I think getting away to the mountains and doing nothing but this, you're able to learn more in four days or five days than you would in you know, 10 week sessions um, under a normal training environment. Favorite thing about Linux Camp is probably the um, closeness. I mean, we're all sitting in tables next to each other trying to work through these labs and these challenges. And then when we're done, it's the relaxation time. Okay, we just worked our butts off to figure this out. We got it figured out. Now let's, you know, go throw a Frisbee. Let's go catch a football. Let's go sit around the campfire. Heather cooked us gourmet meals, three meals a day. There were snacks out all the time. So it was one less thing to worry about. David feeds the geeks' minds. I feed their bellies and their souls. The food that's prepared here is all from scratch and all of the food is made with love. It was a great week, a week well worth uh, experiencing. I uh, got to meet new friends and learned a ton. Learned a lot from David's instruction, but also learned a lot from a lot of the other people that came up here with their own set of skills and uh, their own level of expertise. You're going to get your money's worth coming to Linux Camp. It's a very, uh, very different kind of learning experience, very refreshing, kind of a, a geek vacation. <laughs> David doesn't just teach his students how to pass an exam. He doesn't just pour knowledge at them. He helps put it into context. He's got a lot of experience in the industry. And one of the great things about it is that you end up not just being certified, but also becoming a great sysadmin. I would recommend this to anybody who's curious about Linux somebody who has dabbled a bit in Linux and really needs to have somebody put it together for them. You know, I jokingly call David a you know, human glue gun on the Linux and open source front because he basically is able to take people who have, you know, fooled around with it, experimented, installed it a few times, maybe encountered it at work, and then be able to take that and fill in the gaps of their experience. 